Hi guys, Steve here, in this video I want to share my Carcanose Mark II Taming Trap. These are the previous trap prototypes that got me here. And you can see me testing them on this video that I'll link in the description below and at the end of the video. The trap is based around this test version. We have double doorways and a V formation. The crab didn't even try to retreat when it's high on torpor, so I think I'm going to have to experiment between the distance of the trap and the catapult. But I'll do that in a later video, on with the trap. Right, the first thing is to find some flat ground. This trap is going to tightly hold the crabs so and needs to be millimetre precise. You need three ladders, two stone triangular roofs, four pillars, eight fence foundations, but you'll only need four, ten double doorways, two stone ceilings, and a catapult. Then add them to your hotbar. We do the foundations first and the double doorways. Now what you're going to do is put the foundations into a V formation. Then you're going to build onto the ends of that. And those endings need to be the exact same height as each other. Otherwise you'll have problems getting a crab in. Then at the back we're building another V to make a cross. Just like that. Then delete the centre segments. Just pick them up. like so and there's the four foundations we need the front right one looks a bit higher i'll make do some filming but the front foundations need to be exactly the same height put two double doorways on each of those then three double doorways at the back that's going to stop the crab getting to you that's a framework of a trap then get the triangular roofs put them in your hot bar Place those on the top of the doorways and have them facing down. And that's going to be the ramp for your crab to get up. Yeah, the left one is higher. I'll make do. Then go between the middle of your trap and turn around. You're going to be right in the middle. This is where we're going to put our catapult. Now drag the stone pillars, the ceilings and the ladders to your hotbar. Put your stone pillars down a few tiles back from your trap. We're going to build this five pillars high, but I'm not going to be able to reach, so I'm going to have to put a ceiling down and climb the ladder. Put the ceiling on top, then pick up the ladder and pick up the ceiling. There we go, that's high enough. Now I'm going to place the other ceiling behind that one. Then place the ladders at the back. Three downs enough. Climb up. And then put your catapult on your hotbar. And put that on the first tile. That might be a bit too far forward. Just check. Yep. Let's pick it up and move it back a bit. Okay, that's back a bit. Now check. Yep, that seems fine. Climb down. And the trap is finished. It's nice and easy to make. You're just making a cross on the ground. You don't need many resources to make it. Not that you'll care at this stage if you're high enough to make a crab saddle. And as you're about to see, it works quite well. So let me demonstrate. You kite the crab up here, it walks up the ramp and then drops down into the centre and the V-shaped doorway stop it moving forward. As the crab rotates on its centre, it will probably turn around. So I've got another V-shaped frame on the right, at the back and on the left side. And that should stop it moving so much. Let's get a crab and I'll show you in action. Right, because the left side's slightly higher, I'm going to have to wait on the right side. So the crab can get up, drops in the centre, and we've got it trapped. Next, climb a ladder, get on the catapult. If you placed it correctly, the crab will actually turn to face you like that. Then keep shooting it and hit it on top of its back. You don't want to hit it in its legs or its claws, as that'll just end up damaging it and you don't get any torque from it. Use a catapult rather than a cannon, because if you've got a lower level crab, the cannon will kill it. 
If it does turn, wait for it to stop. Or if you're good enough, shoot it on its back when you can. Because we've built catapult on five stone pillars, it's high enough to shoot down over its claws. And the crab usually turns and tries to run away when it's high on torpor. As you can see, we've got it down pretty easy. Its health's just below half. Sometimes it's above half, sometimes below. Doesn't matter as long as you don't kill it. Let's give it the extraordinary kibble, as it's the best. And that's the hard part done, which is fairly easy. Just skip forward until it has its first bite. And as you can see, 100% taming effectiveness, and you'll gain the maximum of 74 levels. Okay, it's gonna take a bit of time for it to get hungry and eat all those. So let's skip forward until it's close to the end. Almost there. I'm going to times four server, by the way. There you go, it's tamed. Be gentle with a carcass when it wakes up, because it might be a bit crabby. <laughs> Just put a saddle on it, and hold space and hop it out of a trap. As you can see, it's a fairly good trap, but not a work of genius I'm after. I've tested it out over and over again and it seems to work fine, but it's not perfect. The crab still turns around when it's high on torpor. And because the crab fits inside a trap extremely snugly, if the front two ramps aren't exactly the same height, it's a bit of a pain to get it in there and you have to stand to the side. So I think I'll have another goat design and a better one, but we'll use this one for now. If this video is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.